Uh, Nateen, I need you to come on stage. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have about seven people so far. So welcome everyone. Um, we are just gonna give it about 60 more seconds um, to see if some people join us. In the meantime, please feel free to pop into the chat. Let us know who you are, where you're watching from. Um, we are really excited to have you. And like I said, we'll get started in just about a minute. All right, it looks like people are starting to join us. Our attendance is going up. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, thank you so much to everyone for joining us today. I'm Lizzie Schaefer, the General Manager of Blackbaud Social Good Startup Program. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to today's session called Using Blackbaud Sky APIs and AI Tools to Ignite Board Member Ambassadorship and Increase Fundraising. Joining me today are Christine Desca, the President and Co-Founder, and Nateen Rao, the Director of Product Development, both from Nonprofit Sector Strategies, the makers of Bell's Board, and participants in the January 2024 cohort of the Social Good Startup Program. Just a quick reminder before we get started, uh, we're going to launch two surveys at the end of this session. One is the regular session survey from BlackBod that we encourage you to take because the most highly rated sessions, the three highest rated sessions from all of BB Dev Days are going to get a golden ticket BBCon in Seattle. So if you love this session and you want to see it at BBCon, make sure and take that survey, please, um, so that this can make it into the top three. Uh, and then I will also post a link in the chat to a survey that is also very quick, but is specific to feedback for Bell's Board. Um, so if everyone could take a minute to do that as well, we would really appreciate it. Uh, so with that, I will be hanging out in the chat if anyone has questions, problems, etc. cetera. Um, and I am going to turn it over to Christine and Nadine to get us started. Take us away, y'all. Thank you so much, Lizzie, and thanks to everyone uh, who made the time to join our session this afternoon. We know you had many, many, many exciting options to choose from, um, and we are pleased to be the one that you picked. Um, my name is Christine Desca. As Lizzie mentioned, I'm the president and co-founder of Bell's Board, and I apologize. I'm the one who wrote this very, very lengthy title for the session, but I hope it gets the point across and that you're here because you, like Nateen and myself, are interested in how you can utilize your tech expertise, uh, whether a low coder or an expert like Nateen, um, to really engage with your board um, and increase fundraising for whether it's a nonprofit you're part of or one where you have clients. So let me move to the next slide here. I love our bobbleheads. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Christine and my teammate Nateen is joining me today. I'm so excited. This is the first presentation Nateen and I actually get to do together. Usually I'm with one of my colleagues who you'll see a photo of in a moment. And so what are we going to cover today? We really want to make the most of our agenda um, and really hear from you all. I know it's hard when it's virtual. I hope you're not already multitasking, um, but we really, really look to you for um, some really um, exciting insights around AI, around our Razor's Edge NXT integration and more. So we're gonna start with who are you? Um, Lizzie just, I think, is about to share a link and I will as well. Um, this is a way for us to stay in touch with you. I just popped it into the chat also um, so that um, we can continue to engage with you all. We understand if you want to kind of suss us out, myself and Nateen, and decide at the end if you wanna fill out our Google form, but we really hope this is the start of an exciting conversation around board engagement um, and fundraising. So we'll quickly tell you what Bell's Board is to frame it, our top three benefits, what we feel we're already delivering, but what we know can be greatly enhanced by better use of Blackboard's APIs, AI, UX, UI, all of the wonderful things in the sandbox that the team knows way more about than me. <laughs> so just to continue to frame this, board management, board engagement, and fundraising, oh my, again. Um, and that is because that's what we live and breathe, what we aim to do when we created Bell's Board, 
is really help nonprofits better engage with their board members. This largely untapped resource, which we are so excited to be able to make an impact um, because ultimately that leads to greater mission impact for mission-driven organizations across the country and beyond. So how do we begin working with Blackboard? This is uh, myself and my two teammates, uh, Frank and Tony. As you can see, by looking at myself and the team, we have an intergenerational team at Bell's Board. Frank and Tony do not appreciate when I highlight this, but they are integral parts to our team as well, so I didn't want to leave them unmentioned. Um, we were at BBCon in October, had a really, really amazing time, and have just been you know, felt so supported by the team at Blackboard, and today is just another example of that. So what is Bell's Board? So for those of you um, who I think most of you probably have a sense of what a nonprofit board portal is or a board portal in general, and we created Bell's Board to be that, but specifically for mission-driven organizations. And so what you see here and it is an example of our mobile app home screen. Notably, what you do not see in this screenshot is our new donors module, which is the crux of this organization this presentation today, excuse me, and what Nadine and I are so excited to get your ideas and feedback around. Having the chance to have an idea session around AI and APIs is really, really um, exciting for us because we know there's so much more value to deliver. So we know Bell's Board is actively used by hundreds of organizations already, um, and that's really what we set out to achieve when we created this for nonprofits um, in particular. To build on that, the way we differentiate ourselves is really around keeping our packages affordable. So we don't want to be out of reach for any nonprofit organization, regardless of the budget. Our, our goal and our mission was to make sure that if governance is a top priority for your nonprofit and you want to prioritize good governance practices and better board engagement, we want to be that solution. And now with this integration, which I'll jump to next with Razor's Edge NXT, there's so much more to be gained um, in terms of the fundraising side and really driving home mission impact. So the next part of the agenda is for me to kind of just give you the high level top three benefits of our integration with Razor's Edge NXT so that those of you with tech expertise can get a sense of what Natina has been able to do. Once I go over the top three benefits, then I'll turn it over to Natina to really go through the architectural side of things um, as well as some AI ideas that we kind of wanted to throw out there to kind of get the juices flowing because we know there's a lot of different directions we could go with this. So in terms of the first benefit of this integration, um, what we've really been able to do with the team's hard work um, at the helm here is deliver an increased fundraising outcome. And what we offer so far with our integration is the chance for a nonprofit organization to really pull from directly from their lists of lists in Razor's Edge NXT and drop those folks directly into their board portal, into Bell's board. So the first benefit in terms of increasing fundraising is because we can now strategically connect nonprofit board members to donors and facilitate that relationship. Building on that, the second benefit is increased board member engagement, right? These things are go hand in hand. So what we're able to do now in Bell's board, as you can see on the screen here, is we can tie a board member directly to a point of contact in your fundraising department and in a mission-driven organization's fundraising department, as well as to the donor directly from Razor's Edge NXT. So that's a simple sort of connector we have here, but that's just scratching the surface, right? So what we'll dig into more in terms of the AI components is how we're really giving the board member access to that donor profile. So for those of you who live and breathe Razor's Edge NXT, you're familiar with the actions, the opportunities, all of the various fields. So we actually give the board member the opportunity to see a really clean giving history, uh, actions, opportunities, et cetera, right within Bell's board. And what a, a fundraising staffer can do is then say, the board member, Christine, I would really like you to reach out to this prospective donor. And we can facilitate that in a two-way communication between Bell's board and Razor's Edge. And that could be something as simple as inviting a prospective donor in for a tour, for example. Little ways to start that relationship building process. That's really what we're going for in terms of growing indirect fundraising strategy through this integration. And so the final benefit I'll highlight before I turn it over to Mateen um, is increased mission impact. Uh, as I've 
probably said too many times already during this talk, this is really what we're going for here. We really believe that by empowering your board members at a nonprofit organization to engage in these indirect fundraising tasks, your organization will be strengthened because that feeds right into the power of storytelling, something that's kind of uh, inherent in nonprofits, right? The story of what you achieve with your missions is really what attracts donors to your cause, what really helps you continue to grow and have even greater impact. So what we're building out as part of our integration, very much tied into AI, which the team will touch on, is a fundraising coach powered by AI, really connecting board members directly to how to be more ready to send that text message, make that phone call, write that email to a prospective donor um, via this integration to really grow that authentic relationship to get to that fourth pillar over there. So hopefully it's starting to crystallize sort of what we're really offering so far and probably how much more value we can offer when it comes to um, incorporating more API call strategy elements, um, AI insights, etc. So with that being said, let me turn it over to the team. I'll get to the next slide here to really talk the tech side of what we've built so far. Hello. Hello, everyone. No, so let us go. Uh, you guys have here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so welcome to the uh, conference and uh, thanks for seeing and uh, participant over wherever good afternoon or good morning. <laughs> so coming back to the architecture part of the sales board. Uh, so we follow with the two stack of technologies. One is a React framework built for mobile and the front end tools. And the back end uh, we have used a C sharp um, the main part of the, the application integration with the Blackbird, how we authenticate with the Blackbird and the Spells code. So here's one of the goals for how we do it. If it is user comes to the Bells board, not the user, it's the, as Christine previously mentioned, it's helped the, um, the board was to go and find the donors and uh, interact with the donors. But to get the donor details and the profile, first we need to connect to the platform, which will be done by the admin. So the admin must of course log into the cell code and get the token and get ready for the next API call. So this is how the API application works to do the admin Lock the bell code, and uh, we have a page where the authentic. So, what happens when you click on authenticate, right? So, we open up the bell code, uh, uh, sorry, blank code login page, and uh, user logs into their own username and password, and then they choose the environment, the environment they want to connect, then the black code will authorize, and then black code will send you the token and then we store that token in our database. So next time when any board member logs into the application, they will have any, all the information what they need because they don't need and every time log into the blackboard and uh, get the token. So the token is already there. If the token expires, it automatically refreshes. Can you go to the next slide, Sure. So this is the next step. The, the board member is logging, right? So they are in the uh, portal. So what what we do as soon as we log into the Bell's board, we get the token uh, context. That's what we call the context. We have the token and we keep it. And any API call we need to make it. So we have a token, we have a token and call the for API center. Uh, so what? For example, get the get constraint, get opportunity, the list of the API. So, so this is how we designed 
how to connect to the blackboard and how can you can use the ring of the token. Uh, and just get the data in the, the uh, UI. So the challenge was that we have a lot of API calls to get a lot of data. So that the challenge is we have, we're still figuring out how to reduce this call to the one of the Q and A we can consider here. So, next slide. Sure. So, AI ideas. So, we are thinking a couple of ideas here, and we're still working on this um, ideas and brainstorming how we can implement those things. So, this is a making support, uh, like um, how we support more AI to the, the board members, how can you maximize the, the productivity here? Right? And another one is the predictive analytics for donor potentials, which donor can like we use AI on like owner donation data, engagement metrics, right? And wealth indicators. So based on these indications, then we can uh, plot a, a graph that these are the owners have a potential, right? The, the third idea here is the wealth screening. So this is another way of uh, calibrating the, the donors, the wealth, so that it helps us, the board, the board members, to target the right owners at the right time. So this is the idea that we still break from it here. So that's all the nice thing right now. Kissing, you can take a look here. Sure. Yeah, Nateen, yeah. thanks for setting the stage. I hope that the folks um, on, I think most people have been on since the beginning of the session. Um, but I also wanted to encourage you to write in the chat any questions you might have at this point um, or suggestions. So Nateen really wanted to frame the background of what APIs we've used so far, um, but also if any of you have maybe targeted um, even a different segment of Razor's Edge users, for example, or prospects or whatever bucket of, of members and you have ideas that could help us better serve board members or in general, um, we would love to hear from the folks who are on. Um, the team put these three buckets kind of up on the screen to get the wheels turning um, because we know there's so much we can do to support board members. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, we've just scratched the surface. Um, I had a fellow consultant say to me recently, he said, what I say to board members is don't ask because we know how board members are reticent to asking for dollars, reticent to going to prospects. But are they reticent to inviting a friend to a gala or are they reticent to having someone join them for a tour of an organization? Right. So these are very kind of bite sized ways that board members can start to engage. And what we're trying to do through our integration because Bell's Board is a very intuitive, straightforward platform. But where is a place where the board member could weigh in and have that update in Razor's Edge? So as the team mentioned earlier, that's still the single source of truth here. Um, but we're able to truly grow the board member engagement and involvement in indirect fundraising. So hearing sort of a little bit of silence, I know it's really hard with a virtual session. Yeah. If anyone has a question, we'd be happy to answer it in the chat or we could move to our developer challenge, which is probably doubly challenging to conduct virtually, but we're gonna try it. Um, I'm going to enter our form link in the chat again as well in case anyone missed it. And this is what we can use to stay in touch with you following this session. We know you had about a thousand sessions to choose from. So for the folks on right now, we're really grateful you are spending your time with us. Um, so at this juncture, I'll move to the next slide to see if we have any suggestions in the chat in terms of our developer challenge. So you have a lot of challenges to take part in today. As Lizzie mentioned, there's the BBCon challenge for the golden ticket that's coming into the chat. So if you haven't had a chance to enter that in a previous session, keep 
uh, in mind that's coming. But for our challenge for this session, we really wanted to frame this to kind of open a window into what Natina has really done beautifully in Bell's board um, in connecting board members to prospects giving histories while also maintaining all of that information in Razor's Edge. Um, so with that said, I want to give a moment for those of you listening that if there's anything along the lines of um, an API call strategy or UX or UI insights you want to share with us, we're looking to see who might have some of the best breakthroughs or ideas for us to really deliver more on the three benefits we went over earlier, which were to increase fundraising through board member engagement, um, to increase board engagement specifically, and then thirdly, to grow mission impact through the um, engagement of your board members. So is anyone brave enough to write something in the chat so that we can dissect it and call you out? And thank you for your good idea. And I see Lizzie and Gabriella are on, and I know they hear from us all the time. We're lucky to meet with Lizzie and Gabriella monthly as part of the um, Social Good Startup Program. So they hear from us pretty often, I would say. It has been an absolute honor having Bell's Board in the Social Good Startup Program. Um, for anyone that's listening, I also posted this link in the chat, but uh, if you have not checked out the brand, well, not brand new, relatively new, uh, but still very shiny and exciting RENXT integration between Bell's Board and RENXT in the Blackboard Marketplace, um, I would encourage you to go over there. It's just a one-click connect um, so that you can find out what we're doing over there. Um, and then also connect with Christine and Natine as you are looking through that integration because we are always wanting to hear from you about other features you might want to see, what is useful to you, what would make your life easier uh, from a technology and or board ma management uh, perspective because that is kind of the goal of the Social Good Startup Program is to help these startups um, build things that not only are fantastic iterations of the ideas that they came to us with, um, but also specifically to serve the needs of BlackBot customers. Um, so as you are exploring Bell's Board and getting to know this, please do reach out to any and all of us uh, with your thoughts, suggestions, or if you are the type of person that likes to be involved in beta testing, EAPs, discovery calls. Um, we are always looking for customers to come and give us a reality check uh, on what we're doing. So please feel free to reach out to me directly if that is something that anyone on this call would be interested in doing. Thanks so much, Lizzie. And I'll just emphasize, um, we are real people and we would love to hear from you. I'm based in New York, the team in Canada. We've got a link in the chat if you want us to follow up with you. Also our upcoming events link, we're kind of everywhere in the month of June, virtually and all over the New York area, at least for me. And we will be, of course, at BBCon um, in the fall. So we're looking forward to that. I've also highlighted um, our existing partnership page with Blackwad um, in case what we said piqued your interest. We really appreciate you taking the time to join. It's our first BB Dev Days and we'd love your feedback. So thanks Lizzie for having um, Natina and me today. Uh, it was absolutely our pleasure. Um, I have launched the Blackboard survey for this session. Again, uh, if you really enjoyed this, please give everything five stars um, so that we can be a contender for one of those three golden tickets to BBCon. Um, I will go ahead and just stay on for a couple more minutes um, in case anybody has questions um, or is joining us late because I know we've got about 20 more minutes technically, but if we are wrapped up here, then um, I would like to say thank you again to everyone uh, and we will see you later today, tomorrow and Thursday during the rest of BB Dev Days. Like I said, I'll hang out here just for a minute if anybody has questions, uh, but feel free to Take a few minutes extra, take a break, uh, and we will see you guys later in the afternoon. Thanks, Lizzie. We can hang out too in case anybody decides to emerge into the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mute myself because the dog has a squeaky toy um, <laughs> and take myself off stage, but I will be here. Um, I will keep the session open for a little bit. Again, uh, if anyone has questions or wants a direct introduction to Christina and Natin, I would be happy to facilitate that as well. All right, thanks y'all. Thanks, Lizzie.
just me and you, Mateen, and a couple others. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if anybody has something they'd like to share after the yeah. official close. It's always better to be efficient than run over. It was great. Like we have a like great API. So. Okay, we have a couple responses in in our form, so that's great. Thank you to the person from Boise State who filled out our form. See that one so far. We appreciate that. Okay, talking to the OPI, it is with the black box is a very good documentation and you can it has taught us to reduce the development time. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to follow up and share the giving history um, visuals with some of the folks that logged on. So I'm excited to do that. Great. All right, well, hearing, I think, silence at this point, I think we should probably follow Lizzie's lead and probably hide and mute, but keep it open until, I don't know, at least 10 more minutes to see if anyone has a question. Yep. I'm going to hide myself and thank the folks that are still on. <laughs> 